Hello everyone, Wumpus Gaming here, back today with more Imperator Rome as Livonia. Last time on our episode, we secured the provinces of Ultima Thule, which is this little chunk of modern day Norway. And on this episode, I think our goal will be to push down the rest of the coastline and secure the peninsula here in Dacionia. They are, however, allied at this point with Favonia and Gutia, so they are kind of way stronger than I can actually fight. Now, Sithonia doesn't have any allies anymore. That's interesting. So, what we could do here is we could declare war on Favonia and fight both Dacionia and Favonia at the same time. We do have allies with Teutonia, uh, but I don't know if they have the naval strength to transport their troops over to this side of the world, so they might not actually be all that helpful. Um, looking around, the other thing we could do for conquest is colonize these two provinces to get a route over to Sithonia. Uh, we have 62 gold lying around. Let me let me see where all of our my my pops are at. Okay, so we need to move them from Klimpaz. Astrofoldaz. Move two pops there. Then we'll move them to here. And then from there, we can move them to one of these two when we have more money. Okay, let's start. Go ahead and let it run. Okay, you've been treated successfully for your diseases. That's excellent. This is going to be kind of a slow episode. I think we're mostly going to colonize. We'll see how long that takes. And if we still have time left when we're done with colonizing, we'll try to take over one of our neighbors if we can. Uh, we will tell them to stop bickering. We'll just take the loyalty penalty to both, but take the popularity boost. Yeah, that was fine. That didn't put us anywhere near Civil War. Okay, so we need to find two more pops. Two more population, huh? Ah, here's two more pops. And Soknidala, perhaps. Yep. Where's Arnadala? Here. Yeah, we can also move a pop from there. Okay, then we need to move them over here. Ooh, trade for wood. Oh, no, woad, which is a type of dye. Where do we have woad? Woad, 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 woad. Oh, here. We only have a source of it. We'll have to put a city here with a foundry to get more. That might be one of our trade goods. Oh, we have a we have a daughter, Gudegebo. Cool. Can we move those pops yet? No, not Guatlanda. Ostra, yeah, Ostra. There's one. Uh, let's put it into the charade. We'll get three tyranny, but it'll prevent a character from becoming disloyal. Okay, that's the two pumps. Move to there. Yep. Now we need to move them here. Okay, now when we have ten gold, we should be able to colonize this province. Then we'll go ahead and raise our levies, and we'll attack Sithonia. Colonize here. We get more horses. And eventually we'll colonize Falakapungaz. God, these these Scandian names are kind of hard to pronounce. Um, for my American tongue. Okay, let's raise our levies. Let's march them over here. What do we got? Not not a great force, to be honest. Um. Yeah, neither one of these forces is all that great, but that's okay. We don't have a lot of population yet. 
Oh, we have a disloyal army due to a disloyal character. Uh, let's give them free hands. And then let's give you free hands? Yeah. Yeah, we need our entire army. They want to buy Woad from us as well for half a gold a month. Okay. Go ahead and save, because I'm not too good at the combat yet. Uh, it's the clear war for West Gothia. I'm not going to call my ally. I think we can handle this on our own. We'll try to take all of their territory, but our main goal will be to take West Gothia. We're going to attack their armies and try to wipe them out. There we go. And let's go grab their fort. Should still have enough troops to do that. We have a bountiful harvest. Our stability is pretty good, so we'll take the money. Okay, the siege is almost over. It's at 42%. There we go. We'll loot gently. We don't want to kill too many of their pops. Now let's take Narakiz. And then Asko, and we'll end the war. Ah, our small onion harvest is gone. Yeah, we have to play, pay money to replace it, so let's take a loan out to balance our economy out and end this war. Gonna go with the popularity here. We can disband our levies. Now let's try to move four more pops to here. Quata Landa. Yeah, that's fine. And then we'll colonize this province. Ah, we need a new war chief. You're pretty good, and you're loyal, and you've got more statesmanship. You've got a higher marshal, though. Yeah, we'll go with that. An innovative breakthrough. Excellent. What do we want to research? Part of me wants to start working down to centralized production, but we were working on getting down to great temples. I guess we'll just keep doing that. Why not? Colonize this province. Cool. Now we just need these two provinces and we'll have full control over West Gothia. That'll complete that mission tree. Let us go with population growth with King Louise. So we need to move Pops to here or here. Let's save up a bunch of money first. And then we'll get those pops moved, and that will give us West Gothia. And then we'll begin looking towards, I think, Favonia. Or perhaps Suonia and Ferezia, they're allied with each other. So I think our next war is going to be Favonia and Daciona, and then Ferezia and Siona, and then take out Gothia, because they're going to need, we're going to need a navy to attack Gothia. And we currently don't really have that. We gain some stability from a advisor having high statemanship. Okay. Let's see. We've gained uh, tech advancements for trading with Thrace. Excellent. Let's go ahead and move these pops about now. Um, where I want to move them from is Falakanapone. Right here. Okay, right, and then move from here. More civic advancements, uh, more tech advancements from trading with Thrace. Very good. Uh, there we go. Now we just need the money. I think we're going to colonize the furs first. That's a trade good. Okay. 
Rome wants to trade with us. They want to import. They want our furs. Cool. Okay, so we can move some citizens around to gain centralization. It will cost us money and political influence, which we don't have the money. So I'm going to go with, it would be wrong to suggest this. We'll lose one centralization, but that's okay. We'll regain it eventually. Centralization, the higher it is, the more civilization level you can have. Um, and you get more centralization and civilization level by building cities and various city buildings. Minor amendum. No, uh, we don't need more stability. I'm okay with the amount of stability we currently have. So let's move one pop here. Uh, yeah, from there is fine. Then we should be able to eventually colonize Awangangia. There we go. Now we have all of Ultima Thule. And most of West Gothia. We have to take the last bit from Favonia. So I think that's who we're going to declare war on next. Ah. Our clan chiefs want to provide us with a benefit of either political influence or manpower. Since we're about to go to war, I'm going to go with the manpower boost. That'll put our manpower well over the cap. Let's raise our levies. We lost our spearmen, but that's okay. I'd rather have... A little more of a organized force than something with a lot of mixed units. I have a little of a lot than a lot of many. I don't know if that makes sense. We're going to assign various tasks to our armies. Do we split our forces? I'm going to go with no because that usually gets us killed. So we're going to march south. Okay, we're going to save. And we're going to declare war on Favonia for West Gothia. And we are going to call Teutonia in this time. Try to make the war a little more in our favor. Let's try to take their capital and take out some of their army in the process. We've killed 700 of their troops. Okay, and now we're sieging down, now, down their capital. Looks like they abandoned the property, uh, the territory of Nudigans. That's interesting. Okay. We are going to ask our governor, Cast our chief, Castorix, to share his wealth with us. Our high priest has died of dysentery. That sucks. Let's see what we got for a new one. Hilda Harkus Walajis here is level 8 and is a member of a scorned family, so he's a pretty good choice. Ah, yes, we have a disloyal general. That's... That's a problem. I'm going to make you a rival, and then we're going to have you assassinated. Alright, let's check on... We can just bribe you, and you'll be loyal. I'll also give you free hands. Have a bribe. Uh, we will adopt you. We'll give you a wife. There you go. That should make you more loyal towards us. Yes, those troops deserting is... Uh, yeah, please come back. We, we need you. Yeah, seriously, come back. Here comes the Teutonians. Okay, we have been defeated. But we still outnumber them, I think. We'll need to bribe our commanders to stay loyal. We have a barbarian uprising at the same time. This is um, some seriously bad luck. Just going to click through some of these events real quick. Put an end to this nonsense. Yes. Okay, so... Let's... Ah, oh, yes, one of our armies is disloyal. That is incredibly annoying. I made you my son. I gave you a wife. What are you doing? Abuse of office is a serious matter. Uh, no, nah, we can reason with this guy with a little money. We'll invest in a few favors. And he has still been found innocent. Okay, well, he's seriously destroying our ability to cohesively deal with the threats that are uh, presented 
two us. And I forgot to select all my armies. Of course, we lost some grain. That's bad. Yeah, and the barbarians are pillaging Ultima Thule. Okay, I'm going to reload because that general has really effed us. Um, can we just keep going? I mean, our allies are sieging stuff down. These barbarians, yeah, the barbarians did a bunch of damage. Silicids are getting targeted by another war goal. Let's let's go look at what the silicids are doing. Okay, so Armenia has taken a chunk out of them. Interesting. Kush has been taken over by Blemia. That's rare. Rome has taken the peninsula. Okay. Carthage has taken the coast. No one's really done much in England. Scythia is reorganizing and reunifying its area. The Alani are nuts. Maria have taken most of India. Pandea is working on the south. Alright, that's interesting. Let's go back to Livonia. Personally, normally I would reload in these instances and try again. Uh, they've managed to form 5,400 troops. Whoa. Some of that's got to be... Ferezia has joined the war? When did Ferezia join the war? Okay, I'm going to reload. And we're going to try this again. Um, yeah, if that general's not going to stay loyal, I don't know if we can do this. Why did Ferezia join the war? They shouldn't have joined the war. Oh, wait. Alliance with Godia, Rugia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alliance with Godia. Ferezia, Sasunia. Okay, okay, okay. Just to ensure the loyalty of our generals. We're gonna go ahead and grant some bribes to these guys. Um, okay, hopefully that did it. Let's try this again. Take West Gothia, call in Teutonia. 4,000 troops. Savonia, Gudia, very good. Okay, we won that fight. We're sieging down the fort. Okay, that guy died dysentery. We will buy that grain back. Oh god, now my economy's a mess. Okay, let's take out two loans. That doesn't fix it, but that's okay. Let's see if we can't win this siege in this fight this time. This is what screwed us here. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. We won this time. Okay. Perezia wants an alliance. I'm going to ignore that. Because at least they're not joining the war this time. Okay, we won another fight. The Teutons are on their way. Teutonia. Fleeing the war within Sinonia. A number of important dignitaries have managed to escape to our lands. Where's Sinonia? And do we want to make them upset? Nonia is over here. Oh, yeah, we'll welcome them. Sure. Refugees are welcome. Why not? Is this one of our generals? No, one of my researchers. Okay, I don't care about that. There's a bunch of disloyal characters right now, which is really annoying. Uh, the Daihe are attacking the... Interesting, Byzantia. Okay. Alright, they're attacking me again. Okay, we won. Let the looting be gentle. Okay, let's pause. We killed another thousand of their troops. Let's save. So this time we're doing pretty well. Now let's take the province we actually want. Let's take our war goal. Okay. Parnia has declared war on the Silicids with the war goal horde conquest. Okay. Let's go take out the last bits of their army. Okay, we're doing really well this time, so I'm going to press my luck here. We're going to... I'm going to press on Gotia. Let's raise the navy up to 10 ships. Or at least that many for now, that's all I can afford. 
because we might have to land on this island to truly win this war. Okay. Yeah, now we just need to get a navy. We'll be able to seize Gutenland as well. All right, wow. Yeah, this is this is why you save and sometimes reload. Because uh, this time the war went much better. Okay. I don't think five boats is enough to transport over to this island. Yeah, so we're going to have to wait for more boats. More boats, boats, boats. I think ten should be enough. But we'll find out. Or do we just sue for peace and take the island later? We don't have the boats for it now. We're already at seven. Yeah, they only have three boats, so they don't have enough to transport their armies either. With pop growth. And let's see, level eight. 58 loyalties, okay. 41 statemanship is, is pretty fantastic. 68 loyalties, even better, but only level 5. Uh, you should become a 72 loyalty, okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to be cruel. Don't want to gain more tyranny. I guess we'll lose money for stability. It's fine. It's, it's fine. Okay, we're at 7 boats. Yeah, we gotta build a navy, sail it over there. Unless Teutonia can build a navy and sail it over there faster. Ah! One of my elders was murdered. That's mysterious. Mysterious. Okay, you're only level 6. And this guy's got better loyalty, better statementship. We'll take a level 5, even though it's technically worse. All right, we're almost to nine boats. We're almost there. We're three quarters of the way to nine. Meta, we shall let everyone know who's guilty of murder. Oh, they're about to force peace. That's okay. Well, we are going to get what we wanted. We're not going to get all of it unless I can get this final boat built. I'm hoping ten boats is enough. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Inflammation. Okay. Sick, are we? One last boat. One. Okay, there it is. Sail it. Our fleet over here. And board the boats. And then sail our fleet over here. Okay, we have all the armies selected. Uh, naval landings usually go badly, so let's try. Hey, we won! Would you look at that? All right, super peace. We're all we're gonna go with the popularity boost for the first one, and then the decreased aggressive expansion for the second one. We are now a minor power. Would you look at that? Let's have our navy come back to port. Oh wait, no, not yet. Yeah. Because I can just disband the army. Okay. Okay, there's our levies. We are now a minor power. And on that note, I'm going to end the episode here on the arising of Livonia into a minor power. We're going to quickly rebalance our council now that we have a new family that is part of that. They want at least two members. And we have now colonized and controlled West Gothia. Our next goal is into Scandia. So we have to take the rest of Danciona. That's going to be next episode. So if you want to see us do that, tune in next time for us finishing off colonizing Nure uh, Horelia and conquering the rest of Horelia. That will be next episode. This has been uh, Grabbing West Gothia. So, yeah, if you've enjoyed watching, please leave a like. If you're new here, a subscribe greatly helps out. The more subscriptions we get, the better the algorithm thinks we're important. Uh, the more likes we get, the more the algorithm thinks we're important, too. 
So if you want us to be important to the algorithm, please subscribe and please leave a like. This has been Wumpus Gaming playing Imperator of Rome as Livonia, signing off and saying goodbye to everyone for the day. See you all on Monday for our next episode.